Hey, what's up guys? Loki Welcome here, back at it again with another YouTube Friday. video. Today, we're going to be talking about Kafka, and if you should pull for her on the rerun. If you're a free-to-play player um, that ended, ended up missing this character, or if you're new to the game, you probably miss out on this character. Um, I know I have someone in my chat that missed out on Kafka. They were asking me, um, is she going to be good with Black Swan? Um, so I can't specifically say if she will be or not, but from what we know about Nihility characters, they put dots on characters. So there's no way she wouldn't be good, right? So I'll just say that. Um, but that's for a whole nother video. Let's talk about Kafka herself and if, if I think you should pull for her. So, or if you want to pull for E1, since everyone's getting a free doctor ratio, maybe you want to pull for E1. E1's actually pretty good. It's basically like, a, cause I'm pretty sure Sampo himself buffs, what is it? I don't have it crown. So increases dot taking by 31% for two turns, but when Sampo does his alt. Um, and that's, and I have E6, so it's actually less than that if you don't have E6. Um, I would be six Sampo, but the trace is almost, it's almost 12 out of 12, so it, it, it would be 30%, I believe. At, it would be 30% at 10 out of 12 if, if I didn't, if, if I didn't have, where does it increase? It increases it at, at E5, so that's essentially what her E1 does. Her E1 essentially is Sampo's alt. But it also stacks with samples also if you run sampo with the kafka with like ron may or something you're just stacking all of this damage right you're boosting your dots so so e1's good e1's fantastic um the character herself if you don't know what the character does right so we're gonna look at the character any dots that are on the enemy and, and, and also including the ones that she produces herself they immediately get triggered upon the usage of her skill or her ultimate that being said you do have to unlock her trace to make her ultimate immediately trigger dots but that's no problem um her light cone very good light cone very very good light cone i've been so lucky on light cones but like i'm not trying to like talk shit about genshin but 75 25 is nice 75 25 is nice i have yet and i know it's gonna happen someday at some point probably next banner or the banner after that i'm gonna lose a 75 25 it's gonna happen and mathematically it has to happen but it, it has not happened yet right so i've been able to get almost every single i'm sorry light cone i, I didn't go for lochas we ended up getting blades uh we're right now we're running this because i swapped the shui -E, but <clears throat> And then, yeah, so I've, I've been, I have yet to lose the 7525. Um, right now we're running this for the energy, but we do have several with Light Cone as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much her kit. Like, E1's gonna give you some extra damage. It's gonna make it so you don't have to use like a Sampo. Um, but I personally enjoy Break Effect Sampo. I'm gonna do a, a bit of a showcase here because there's an another thing I do want to talk about and it's just better to show you. So we're gonna do. Welcome to. Do you want to? Enter I need to find a floor that has wind enemies, and I think the only one is. I mean, a lot of floors have wind enemies, but I want wind enemies on the first side because I don't want to be here all day. So let's just do this, 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 that. That's fine. We'll do that, and we're gonna try to break the enemies that come up first, which I believe is the. I forget the name of him, but he, but he brings back the guys that revive themselves and then, and then he siphons health from you. So we're going to try to break him with Sampo. All right, so mm -hmm. we're going to do this. I wonder what that is. <laughs> Let's wait. Does Into that the Kafka technique, which is going to apply shock. Um, Kafka versus hey. Kafka is not. You turn it's not typically something you would use because Kafka has significant damage resistance um but in addition to having her light cone if let's say i don't have a skill point here i can normal attack and it, it'll inflict the in a road status on the enemy which is basically just like your lightning dot um so yeah so they're considered shock but it's, it's the same thing i'll um, see you all so what we're gonna do we're gonna try to break <laughs> this guy there's more to life 
Okay. I'm trying to break him with samples. Oh. I owe you one. Eternal the dead return. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's look at our sampo. Our sampo is 182% break effect. I think it's like 160, but it's getting another 20% from um, Ron May. So let's Every do this first. All will be swept away by the wind. And then we're gonna all sampo. To betray my customers. I charge extra. 75,624. Now that dot, you see how he has eight stacks of wind shear? If you look at him, he has the dot vulnerability from the alt, right? And then he has the five stacks of wind shear and the two stacks of um, wind shear under that. The two stacks under that is the break dot that he took, that's 75,000. So Kafka, with your skill, is able to immediately trigger 75% of that break dot. Also, the dot that's on him as well. So skill, boom, 53,402. And he still has the break dot on him. You all with Captain here, you trigger it again. 146,904. My man still has, okay, see the break, oh, the break dot's still there. It's still there for two turns because the turn hasn't passed yet, but you see what I mean? Why this character is so good? Her value is exceptional. Um, another thing is she's one of those characters that hmm. she's known they as being future proof. Us. And what I mean by that is obviously we know we're getting Black Swan. Now it hasn't been officially released if she's going to be a dot character, but she's Night Hillity, so I can assume, wink, wink, that she'll be a dot character. And she'll have, and because she's a five star, her dots are probably going to do a significant amount of damage. I don't know. Maybe. Um, if you know, you know. So, because Night Hillity characters are going to constantly be coming out, her value is going to continuously increase. In addition to that, she's super easy to build. She is super easy to build. Only thing you're looking out for here is attack percentage and speed. That is all you need on Kafka. Attack percentage and speed. It is so simple to get those stats. We, you know, we can use a better, a better helmet there. Um, This piece is pretty exceptional. It's actually kind of nice. I wish it had more attack percentage and it didn't roll in the crit rate, but you know, you know how it goes. When you want crit rate, you don't get it. But when you don't want it, you get it. Um, but we did, we did roll eight speed on that. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, this set, again, I didn't want crit rate crit damage because I, I, I haven't really, I've run crit go once. You can run her with the crit go, with a crit build. However, it's mathematically weaker than just running her with attack percentage but it does have its own value um and then obviously we have speed boots with some attack percentage more speed more attack percentage more speed more attack percentage and oh yeah, look look we rolled 17.4 percent crit damage which is useless stupid anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're a new player if you're if you're a free to play player and you have some stellar jade saved up i highly recommend this character i highly recommend getting kafka She's exceptional. She's exceptional. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for the subs. We gained like 50 or 60 subscribers in like two in like three days. So we're almost at 300. We're at 290 right now. Try trying to grow the channel. So leave a like, comment, subscribe. It definitely helps out the channel a lot. I appreciate all of you guys. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.